While the Moregas Croan family does not possess an official crown, its prominent figures such as Grace Kelly, Princess Caroline, and Princess Charlene are renowned for their remarkable jewelry collections. Princess Grace, in particular, owned at least three tiaras, occasionally adorned by Princess Caroline and Princess Stephanie, in subsequent years. However, the most renowned pieces have been cherished in the family for an extended period and were the frequently worn, especially by Princess Caroline prior to her marriage to the Prince of Hanover. Before we delve into the captivating history of these extraordinary tiaras, I kindly ask for your support by clicking the like and subscribe buttons to help grow and sustain our channel. Thank you for your support. The Bende Mere Tiara Crafted by Cartier, the Bain de Mer Tiara takes its name from the esteemed Société de Bain de Mer, the company that presented it to the Princess Grace of Monaco, comprising three ruby and diamond elements set on a delicate diamond studded frame. This versatile tiara allows for the removal of the three upright elements, which can then be worn as brooches or transformed into pendants for a necklace. The rubies are said to be interchangeable with diamonds, enhancing the piece's adaptability. Following Grace's undimely demise in 1982, the Grubaldi family retained ownership of the tiara. Although Grace Kenley remains the sole individual captured wearing the piece as a tiara in historical photographs, today it is more commonplace to witness her daughter Caroline and Stephanie showcasing the brooches in various artistic arrangements. Personally, I would really like to see this tiara on the current Princess Charlie of Monaco, Princess Grace's diamond tiara. Adorned with 214 modern cut diamonds and 42 backward diamonds meticulously set in a feastor arrangement, the diamond tiara made its debut on Princess Grace shortly after her marriage. Despite Princess Grace donning an array of magnificent jewels throughout her lifetime, the diamond tiara along with her brain they made tiara stood as the only two tiaras personally owned by her. Notably, the diamond tiara had a special place as her most frequently worn tiara, gracing occasions ranging from banquets to balls and weddings, thereby becoming an iconic symbol of her regal elegance and refined taste. The Ocean Tiara Crafted by Van Cleef and Arpels, the appointed supplier to the Principality, the Ocean Tiara was commissioned by Prince Albert in anticipation of his 2011 wedding to Princess Charlene. This exquisite tiara pays homage to her aquatic roots as a swimmer who transitioned from the shores of South Africa to the coastal rim of Monaco. The tiara is ingeniously composed of circular elements that artistically evoke the undulating water and frothy waves of the ocean. Notably, it comes as a versatile set, featuring a pair of matching earrings and the option to be worn as a necklace. Despite its bespoke design for Princess Charlene, sightings of her wearing the ocean tiara have been infrequent. One notable occasion was the Rose Ball in 2011, where she chose to wear it as a stunning necklace, showcasing the tiara's adaptability. While the earrings have made appearances on a few occasions, they have not emerged as clear favorites in her collection. Princess Charlene's Diamond Foam Tiara Fashioned as a spectacular spray of 60 carats of diamonds set in white gold, the diamond foam tiara boasts a maritime theme, reminiscent of Princess Charlene's ocean tiara, a fitting choice for the Olympic swimmer. The centerpiece, a remarkable 8-carat diamond, adds to the tiara's opulence. This versatile piece can be disassembled to create a large or smaller brooch or even a petite hairpiece. Notably, it offers the flexibility to be worn on either side of the head, allowing for various styling options. In preparation for the 2011 nuptials of Prince Albert II of Monaco and John Ingridstock, several prominent jewelry houses were invited 
to submit design sketches for jewels intended for the new princess. The chosen design, crafted by Lawrence Bomber, was aptly named the Diamond Foam Tiara, while occasionally referred to as the Bomber Agrate Tiara. The princess was involved during the process of its creation, with Bomber releasing footage of her trying it on. Princess Grace's Diamond Swag Tiara Showcasing a series of striking diamond swags adorned with large pear-shaped diamonds, the origins of Princess Grace's diamond swag tiara remain shrouded in mystery. While its prominence is unknown, the design bears resemblance to pieces crafted by renowned sword jewelers such as Cartier or Van Cleef and Arpels from the same period. And it may have originally been a necklace. Princess Grace first adorned the tiara for a series of portraits in 1956, shortly after her marriage, complementing it with her Van Cleef and Arpels necklace. The ownership status of the diamond swag tiara is uncertain, and unlike many jewels she borrowed from jewelers, it remains unclear whether it was personally owned by Princess Grace. However, she notably wore the tiara a few years later at the Bal des Petits Litz Blanks in 1965, paired with her Van Cleef and Arpen's earrings. Since then, the tiara has not been publicly worn or displayed, raising the possibility that it may no longer exist. Cartier Pearl Drop Tiara The intricately designed tiara, featuring a composition of diamonds, golds, and platinum, adorned with sizable pearl drops, suspended and trembled from elaborate arches, was commissioned by Princess Charlotte of Monaco and meticulously crafted by Cartier in 1949. This significant year aligns with the ascension of her son to the Principality's throne. Photographs of the tiara showcase only two Grimaldi women, Princess Charlotte and her granddaughter, Princess Caroline. The latter has notably worn the tiara for major white tie events and it made a poignant appearance in a series of Casiraghi family portraits. Caroline most recently adorned the tiara during the 2012 pre-wedding dinner for hereditary Grand Duke Guillaume of Luxembourg. Subsequently, it has predominantly featured in traveling museum exhibitions dedicated to Princess Grace. I wonder if we'll ever see the current princess of Monaco take this gorgeous unknown piece out for a spin. Princess Caroline Sapphire Necklace Tiara This convertible jewel, originally designed as a necklace and transformable into a tiara, is adorned with seven large sapphires and a meticulous arrangement of brilliant cut and backward cut diamonds. In possession of Princess Caroline of Monaco since her youth, this exquisite piece is believed to be gifts from her esteemed parents, Princess Rainier and Grace of Monaco. The princess has consistently showcased this jewel on numerous occasions, always opting to wear it as a necklace. At the gala that would be held on the night of her brother's wedding, Prince Albert, the princess would wear sapphires as a tiara for the first time. The Diamond Fringe Tiara of Monaco Charlotte had been the illegitimate daughter of Louis II of Monaco. In order to prevent a succession crisis, Louis adopted Charlotte as his legal heir in 1990. Charlotte is reputed to have received this French tiara from her father on her wedding to Pierre de Polignac in 1920. Most believe that it came from Cartier, but there is a chance that it may have been inherited by Louis from his mother, Lady Mary Victoria Hamilton, who was Princess of Monaco from 1869 to 1880. This newspaper report from the time mentions that one of Lady Mary's wedding presents was a large brilliant fringe necklace containing 1200 brilliants or diamonds. The tiara is often confused with the diamond fringe necklace worn by her granddaughter, Princess Caroline. However, Caroline's fringe necklace
features interspersed spoon-shaped spikes, whereas Princess Charlotte's tiara does not. It has also been noted that Charlotte's tiara features more diamond bars than Caroline's necklace. Brunswick Tiara This scrolling diadem with three large diamonds in the center and a laurel red top originated with Empress Josephine of France was bought by the people of Brunswick and given to Prince Ernst August of Hanover, later Duke of Brunswick, as a wedding gift for his bride, Princess Victoria Louise of Prussia in 1913. In 2004, Princess Caroline wore the Brunswick tiara at the wedding of Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark. She attended with her husband, Prince Ernst August of Hanover, who is Princess Victoria Louise's grandson. The Hanoverian Floral Tiara Composed of an antique floral motif, this tiara is an heirloom of the Hanover family, probably coming from diamond floral elements belonging to Princess Mary of Hanover, 1849-1904. It was worn by Princess Caroline at the pre-wedding ball of Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark in 2004. In July 2017, Ekaterina Melisheva wore this tiara when she wed Prince Ernst August of Hanover, stepson of Princess Caroline, as did Alessandra de Osma when she wed Prince Christian of Hanover in Lima. Princess Ekaterina also wore the tiara at the wedding ball of Prince Ludwig and Princess Sophie of Bavaria in 2023. Thank you for watching this video. Share your impressions in the comments and support our channel by subscribing and liking. Thank you.